all right guys welcome back to the channel this is digital technologies and in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can get free proxies now i've already done a first video about how to get free proxies i'll leave that in the description and in that video i told you guys that if you wanted me to do a video about how to get paid proxies let me know in the comment section and i've seen a lot of you requesting for that video so don't worry i'm still putting together a list of all the reliable and paid proxy sites that i know of and i know that they are trustworthy and i'll drop that video very soon but in today's video i'm going to show you another platform that you can use to get Get free proxies so if you like content like this please consider subscribing to the channel turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these updates and i'll show you guys how to get the proxies how to check if they are working and then also set them up on your mobile devices and your pc so without wasting much time let's get into tutorial and let me show you guys how to get access to these proxies all right guys so i'm going to start with my android device so first of all open your browser and head over to this website over here this is the website you're going to use to get the free proxies the name is proxydb.net i'll leave the link in the description so you guys can access it easily okay so over here on the website you see it's giving us the list of available proxies now we can filter this list by protocols and anonymity levels so if you take a look at the protocols, there are three different types of protocols, HTTP, HTTPS, and SOX5. And the anonymity level also has three levels, transparent, anonymous, and high anonymous. So depending on what you want, you can filter it by what you want. And also there's a country filter over there where you can select the country that you want. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to use SOX5 and I'm going to select high anonymous. After making that selection, it will give me a list of proxies that meet my requirements. Now, another thing I want you to keep in mind, just like I mentioned in the first video about proxies, getting proxies from free platforms like this, you need to keep in mind that not all of them will be working and not all of them will be safe. So, you need to go ahead and test to find out which of the proxies are working and that's exactly what i did so while i was testing the proxies i noticed three things the ones that work work really well and they are fast not too fast but they are okay they'll get the job done and there were others that were very slow i mean like they were as slow as the proxies that i showed you guys in the first proxy video i did yeah they were slow like that and then last but not least the third one i noticed were proxies that were not working at all like you can still save them using your proxy app and connect but when you try to browse you get nothing like it doesn't work at all so keep in mind these three types of proxies are located on this platform so let me know the one you experience or the one you come across in the comment section okay so for the first proxy i'm going to go with the very first one on the list which is a france sox 5 proxy if you want more information about the proxy you just tap on it and it will open this page over here that will give you every single detail about the proxy from the ip to the port to the host the country and all other information that you will need so for android users i introduced this proxy app to you guys to help you connect with proxies it's called super proxy and it's available for download on the play store so you can download it and then start using it now when you open it you just tap on the button that says add proxies on this page you can give your proxy a name select the right protocol all the proxies i'll be using in this video are all sox5 so the protocol is going to be sox5 and as for the server this is the same as the ip so go ahead and enter that information there and then you also enter the port number now all the proxies from this particular platform which is proxy db do not have any authentication method so you leave that at none also the dns resolution should be left at its default setting now before i save this proxy i want you guys to take notice of my port number you can see an error message over there saying timeout connecting to the specified port what this error message means is that there's an issue with the server side so take note i'm going to save it connect this proxy and we're going to do a hua test and we're going to look at what will happen Okay, so on hua.net, you can see that the proxy is giving me an IP and a location in the Netherlands. 
Quit shouldn't be sold. This is supposed to give me a location in France because the information or the proxies we got from proxy DB is labeled as France. So clearly this proxy is not safe to use because it's giving me an IP and a location in the Netherlands. So always make sure to double check and test if the information you see on Hua.net is the same as that of what you see on the proxy platform where you got your proxies from. Okay guys, I want you to keep this in mind. So I'm going to try another proxy and hopefully we'll get a different result, a much better result. Okay, so I'll select this proxy from the United States and I'm going to connect that. Okay, so when I use the USA proxy, I connected it and I did the whole test. Now you can see it's giving me an IP and an address in the United States. If you scroll down, all that information is right there. So this is an example of a good working proxy. So in the future, if I want to use this proxy, I can copy it and keep it somewhere safe in my notepad and I can be using it from time to time. All right, so let's switch to our iOS devices. All right, so for the iOS users, I introduced Potato to you guys as a proxy app that you can use to connect your proxies like Sox5. So I have it installed on my device and now I'm going to attempt to connect to a proxy from ProxyDB using my Potato app. So I decided to go with Canada. So I'll pick any proxy at random from Canada and I'll connect to it using Potato. Okay, so in the Potato app, I want you to tap on the three dot icon at the top right corner. When you see the menu over there, select add proxy. Now it's giving you four options for you to add a proxy. Go with the manual option and tap on add. On the add proxy page, I'll change my type to SOX5. Next, I'll enter my IP, which is the host and I also enter my port number. The proxies from this platform, ProxyDB, do not require any authentication, so the authentication will be left at none. Now give your proxy a name in the remarks section, then tap on the save button. Now that you have successfully saved the proxy, it's time to connect to it. I want you to tap on this button over here, then go ahead and select the proxy that you want to connect to. In this case, I want to connect to the Canada proxy because that's what we are testing. After selecting the proxy you want to connect to, come and click on the play button at the bottom right corner. As you can see, my proxy has successfully connected. Now it's time to do the HOA test. So whilst doing the HOA test, the Canada proxy turned out to be very, very, very slow. So it couldn't even load up the Hua page for me to see the information, whether it's accurate or not. Like I mentioned earlier, you definitely run into a few slow proxies on there. Just disconnect them and then move on to the next one and hopefully you get a better one. Okay, so after trying several proxies after this particular one that I just showed you guys, I finally landed on this proxy from Spain and I gave it a shot and it turns out to be a good working one. So I connected it using Potato and I did the HUA test and as you can see it's giving me a 90% disguise and it's displaying all the other information below which matches the information that is on ProxyDB. Okay, so last but not least we are moving on to our PCs and we are going to connect proxies using our PCs. Okay, so for the PC I introduced Foxy Proxy to you guys. It's an extension you can install on your browser and you can use it to connect to proxies. Okay, so I have my proxy I want to connect with over here. I decided to go with this German proxy. So I'm going to connect to it using Foxy Proxy. So click on the extension and you should see this pop-up menu over here. Next, what you want to do is click on options. This will open a web page in your browser. On the web page, I want you to click on proxies. 
now as you can see i already have some proxies in there that i was testing a, a while ago if you want to add new proxies click on the add button and over here you can fill out all the necessary information to add your proxy so you can give it a title or a name select the type which is the protocol make sure it's sox5 if you're using sox5 proxies the host name is the same as the ip and the port is always the port number after you've entered all that information you click on the save button to save it quick side note if you have a vpn extension installed on your browser make sure it is turned off before you connect your proxies otherwise it won't work okay so after you have successfully saved the proxies now come back to the extension and click on it and you should see your proxy listed over there in order to connect to that proxy all you do is click on it and your proxy should be turned on and connected if you take a closer look at the extension you notice that the name you gave your proxy when you saved it will appear on the extension over there that's how you know it's connected now let's do a hua test just to confirm And as you can see, this is a good working proxy. The Hua test confirms it. The IP address is now a German IP address and is the same as the information we saw on ProxyDB. So this is how you can use free proxies from this platform across your mobile devices and your PC. All right guys, so if you watch the tutorial from the beginning to the end, you should be able to get access to these free proxies and set them up on your mobile device and your PC. Also, don't forget to share this video with someone else who is also in need of free proxies. And I'll see you guys in the next update. Peace.